Hey guys, welcome back. This is it, the last Side Street Market drop sale of 2021. I cannot believe it has been another year with you guys. It has been wonderful. I've greatly enjoyed the live sales and now my drop sales that you guys have grown to get involved in and you all seem to like. I still can't believe my first sale was August of 2019. So it's been a little over a year and it's been awesome. It's been great hanging with you guys. I'm going to kind of ease into the holiday season with family. So I figured I would do my last sale cut off right before Thanksgiving. So uh, I have 20 items for you. I think this sale is about 70% Christmas, 30% like kind of fall. So we'll kind of go from there and bear with me. I'm dealing with serious allergies. So yeah, it's, it's that fall season here. Okay, so I'm just going to grab an item and we are going to go. So the first item I'm actually grabbing is this red bowl. And this bowl is actually called, I have it written down. It is Royal Ruby Red. Okay, it's Royal Ruby Red Oyster and Pearl by Anchor Hawking. So it's got these beautiful like little pearls all up the sides, lovely scallop top. I just thought I saw a chip, but no chips. It's got this really pretty like swirl pattern. And you know what? I told myself, you don't need your black light. That doesn't glow. And you know what? It might be flashed. I'm just going to put that out there because there are some spots where it looks like it's a little lighter red. So I'm just going to throw that out there that there's a chip, but there's no peeling or any major issues that I can see. But it looks really cute with like a little tea light in it for the holidays or some beautiful like um, silver ornaments. I could see that in here too. This guy is going to be, oh, I dove right in guys and I didn't even, I'm Christine of Side Street Market. I shipped from Florida. Shipping is not included. If you bought from me before and you've not moved or changed names, then I have your info. If you have not bought from me within 24 hours, I need you to email me at sidestreetmarketsales at gmail.com, your real name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, and your PayPal info. Hold on one sec, guys. So, of course, I had a tickle and a coughing fit right in the middle. So, I apologize. I'm so excited by the stuff I, I'm bringing you. I forgot to do all the, how does this work? So, if you see an item and you like it, um, I'm going to show you the item, give you its price, tell you a number, you just put that number down in the comment section. The first person to put in the comment section under the video gets the item. Sort comments by oldest first if you're double checking because the first one will be the oldest. Okay. Whew. Sorry guys, I'm all over the place today. I did happen to grab my black light and this does not glow in any way. There is no, there's no glow. And <clears throat> just in case, it only weighs 11, 11 ounces. So it may squeeze squeeze into first class, but once you add the box and the paper, it may just go over that one pound. I do offer UPS. Um, um, I will ship internationally for my YouTube people in Canada and England. Um, and I do do UPS and US Postal Service. I use Pirate Ship. And if things go over like a pound and a half and you're not on the East Coast, you're Central, or Western, I try to do box and bag to help with the cost. Okay, so back to this item. And I should tell you the size because it's not huge either. So again, Ru Royal Ruby Red Oyster and Pearl Anchor Hawking. It's a cutesy. It's little. It's five inches in diameter by three inches tall. Number four, $10. Number four, $10. <clears throat> Okay, then, well, I can't get to that yet. Then a little something for your fall vignettes. It's just a little tiny baby set of um, cookie cutters. You've got some pumpkins, you've got some leaves, you've got an acorn. They're really sweet. Um, still new in box. I've got to find my card. 
I knew I shouldn't have done it this way. Ah, they are $5, number 20. $5, number 20 for the little cookie cutters. <clears throat> These allergies, and I get allergy shots, guys, so at least it's not as bad as it used to be. Okie dokie. Let's grab something non-Christmassy. So this I thought would be beautiful for the holiday season. It is a 1950s purse. It is um, the clear beads with the gold. Chappy. Sorry. He is um, pulling stuff off the table that he's not supposed to be into. Did you hear that? He's eating barrettes. I'll be right back. I hope I haven't lost anyone yet. The sale has been a little sporadic. Um, I apologize. I had some bobby pins that were on the coffee table and he was knocking them off and he eats everything. So I, I didn't want him to eat those. So this is a lovely, um, where do I have it? Loomerd 1950s beaded purse. It's got the little gold chain and on the inside, and it's probably Lumiered. Let's see if I can get this to pull down. By Lumiered Cor de Bead made in USA. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this is like a 1950s purse. Similar ones are going like 20 to 30 online, but there's all different sizes, you know, all different styles, and that's just listed. All this is gold gold threaded like a leaf pattern. It's really, really beautiful, hand beaded. It's a nice cream color, that so it's cream and gold with all these little clear beads. It's got a very nice clean interior. Um, it will fit a modern cell phone. Sorry, I was holding it up to my cell phone. It is nine inches across by five and a half inches tall. So that's a pretty good size. For this purse, it's going to be $16 number one. $16 number one for the 1950s purse. Okay. Then we have this super cute crocheted Santa doorknob hanger. Or actually, you might not be able to put a doorknob on that. Can you see it's crocheted in the center? So, and it's got the little hook right here. So you can put it on the wall or on a door in your house interior. It's got three bells and a little tassel. It is all hand crocheted. It is, let's get the little tassel out here. 27 inches long, so over two feet long. Great if you have like a narrow wall between cabinets or something. So you have the little googly-eyed Santas. We all love a good googly eye. This guy is going to be $8 number five. $8 number five for the googly-eyed Santa. Then I have just, this is kind of more fall. These are a fun set of retro plastic salt and pepper shakers. There's a little age to the white of the top, but they still work. The graphics are still in great condition. They're a really nice avocado coloring. They are two and a quarter inches tall by one and a half inches wide. I just could see these in like a little fall vignette. It's that great fall green color. The set of these are $10, number 10. $10 number 10 for the shakers. Okay. How about a wood shelf? Perfect for fall vignettes. See, you could put your little shakers, you can put a little tea light, all sorts of cute. Now you stop working. There we go. You can do all sorts of stuff with this. It's this one is looks like it's handmade, hand nailed, so it's a little more primitive. It's a little bit older. Perfect rustic for your fall and winter decor. You can even work it this way. It does not have any hooks on it for wall attachment, and it's got those edges 
where you can see the corners have been nailed. Let's see if I can get that in the light there. So you can see this is definitely more of a handmade piece, not something that's mass produced. It's got some age. <clears throat> it is 18 and a half inches long by three and a half inches tall. So if you purchase this, I might ship this separate just to help you because an 18, 19 inch box, you know, like a 19 by 19 might get a little pricey but I could probably cardboard this and bubble wrap it and send it, um, we'll make it work because it's adorable. This shelf is $9, number six. $9, number six for the rustic shelf. <clears throat> and then I have these really fun, like wonky green candle holders. Now, the, the candle inserts are a little bit bigger um, than your typical tapered candle, so you might have to do that trick where you melt a little wax. I do want to show you that on this one here, right here, there is a chip. Can you guys see that? There is a chip, but if you turn it this way for display, you're not going to see it. Now, I did try looking these up. Someone said Viking. Some said Anchor Hawking. The Viking ones, it looks like they did not have this holder in the center. So I do not know who made them. I just like the green. I thought they'd be really pretty. These are not for sale. With your, look at that. With the Lucite candles. And you might have to just take a little real wax and then just stick this into it to get it to stay because this base is just a little small for it, but I thought those would look really cool. You could even fill it with like some little mini Christmas bulbs and then put a candle in it. It is bigger than a votive, so it does need like a tapered style candle. <clears throat> they are about five inches in diameter by two and a quarter inches tall. So for the pair of green, Glass votives, uh, candle holders, possibly anchor hawking. Don't quote me. They are $12, number two. $12, number two for the glass candle holders. Green glass candle holders. I thought they had a really great shape for Christmas and the fall even. Because I could see that with some pretty ambers and plums. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. My favorite time of year. Okay. Woo. Mosquito. Great. <laughs> we have the windows open because it's uh, nice and cool out and sometimes they get through the screen. Okay. So next I'm going to grab one of these guys. And now this is a little stained glass wreath. It is super cute. It comes with a little holder and the holder is for your votive. So it will light up behind it. I have too much daylight, but you can put a little candle back here and it will light up the stained glass. Perfect for Christmas time. It's about five inches in diameter. It's just really a sweet little addition to a vignette. I like the stained glass. The stained glass is in good condition. And this is more of like that plasticky stained glass. This one is $5 number 14, $5 number 14. I can get my fingers out of the way for the wreath. And it does for shipping come apart just like that. And then you just stick this right in the front. Easy peasy. And if you like that, I also have a Christmas tree again. You put the little votive behind it and it will light it up. This guy is six, five and three quarter inches tall by four. Five and three quarters by four. I like the little teddy bear and the presents under the tree and the cherry uh, ornaments on the tree. This guy is also $5. Number 13. $5, number 13. And again, 
it just comes apart like that so it will ship like this well more carefully than that but just cute little holiday pieces then I have a new old stock Christmas decor flocked uh, boot there is some red aging passing through it's still in the package it says made in Hong Kong for sales promotions Inc the boot is about five and a quarter inches tall by four and a half inches wide it's got like some dust and stuff in the bottom but I never opened it so it's a cute little flocked Christmas boot it's eight dollars number 15 eight dollars number 15 for the Christmas boot let's see what else we got something else fall I only have two more fall and then the rest is Christmas so next up I have this set of four copper coated metal mini bunt pans mini cake uh, mini molds mini molds they're made in Korea <clears throat> you get four of them there's four of these little guys which make a great little wall statement they're five inches in diameter so the first one is a strawberry and it has the little hook for the top so you get the strawberry and there's your made in Korea so this is copper coated and then there's the grape on the vine there we go and again it's copper coated it's got the metal back I love these it's got cherries guys so you get strawberries and cherries how cool is that and then the last one I think I think it's a peach you guys will have to let me know I think it's a peach because it's got this line right here on the fruit which makes me think of peach so you've got peach cherry grape and strawberry you get all four for $14 number 11 $14 number 11 for all four of the molds And just so you know on those, let's see, <clears throat> they're about 13 ounces. So you might be pushing the one pound on those, but it can go parcel select ground. Okay. Now this is something you all may have been waiting for. Now these are reproductions. This is Noma Express 7 Bubble Light Set still in the box. It does say string and bulbs made in China, bubble vials made in Taiwan, and assembled in Mexico. It does have a UL and it does have a barcode. But it has the cool box and you have all of the lights. And what I'm going to try to do, oh, well that won't work. I was going to try to light it up for you guys, but the cords, it's not attached. So I'd have to like assemble the whole thing. Let me try that real quick for you. Because if you're going to buy it, you're going to want to know if it works. If I electrocute myself on here, you guys will know. So what I'm going to do, oh yeah, see, it works guys. That's lighting up. Can you guys see that? It works. Yep, they're, they are all, oop, there you go. Oop. Okay, that one's a little temperamental. And this one does have a little crack on the plastic. So it looks like a couple of these have just a little bit of chipping at the bottom of the plastic, but it does work and they do light. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and take that apart. Carefully, I'm gonna unplug it. So if you're interested in this light strand set, it is going to be $25, number 18, $25, number 18. And this will have to ship ground 
because it has liquid in it. So it's going to have to go U.S. Parcel Select Ground because of liquid. Okay, just so you know, it's going to snail mail to you. $25, number 18. I'm just going to set these back in very carefully so they don't get damaged. Perfect. I'm just going to flip this over real quick. Sorry, guys. I'll be with you in just a sec. But these definitely look older. I'm sure they're not the super vintage, but they may be like the 80s, 90s form of vintage. There we go. And there's seven bulbs. There we go. And even the box is cool for display too. So there you go. That was $25, number 18, for the bulbs. And now going back to our, oh, I left the bulb out. Okay, I'll fix that. <laughs> Going back to our Royal Ruby Red Oyster and Pearl Anchor Hawking, possibly, Candlesticks, Ruby Red, okay, stay. I have the candle holders that match. So they are that really, really pretty red. I think they look cool. These uh, Lucite candles are a little bit narrower than the regular tapered candles. So you've got that beautiful Ruby Red and you've got that oyster and the pearl on this. It's a set of two. Really pretty for your Christmas display with some white candles or silver or gold or some lucite candles. No chips or cracks or issues. They've got pretty scalloping on the top. That one just has a seam mold there. These are going to be $18 for the set number three. $18 number three for the Anchor Hawking Royal Ruby Red Oyster and Pearl candlestick holders. We have eight items left guys and that'll be it for 2021 sales but I will be back doing sales in 2022. Um, I don't plan to have monthly live sales or anything like that. I do have a live sale plan for January on a friend's channel. You'll hear about that. I would like to once a quarter um, hop on a friend's channel maybe and do a live in 2022 and then occasionally do a drop sale for you guys with some cool stuff. So we're, we'll just see how the year goes and how my day job takes me. Okay. Let's see. I can't find this item. Oh, it's in the purse. All righty. Next up, we have this beautiful Made in Brazil for Renhold Imports, Plymouth, Michigan. It is a little butterfly vignette with the dried flowers in it. There is a little damage to the butterfly wings here from age, but it's still got that beautiful blue butterfly in there. I'll pull it out so you can see a bit. It is six, almost six and a half inches tall by three and three quarter inches wide. So a six by four almost. It does have the little hole in the top for mounting. Just a really pretty kind of boho gift for someone for the Christmas season. The butterfly art is going to be $12, number nine. $12, number nine for the butterfly art. Then we have another fun item. It's a Christmas tree topper, guys. It's got those cool kind of older style looking, the little star lights on it, and it does work. Come on. Now it doesn't want to unplug. The cord does look a new, little newer to me. It's UL listed. It doesn't say where it's made, but here now you can kind of see it in person without the lights on it. So it's got that great gold and the star shaped um, bulbs and the multicolor. It is six inches across by 
six and a half inches tall, and it even has a little thing for if you want to put it on the wall instead of up on your tree. This, this tree topper is going to be $12, number 12. $12, number 12 for the star tree topper. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Oh, okay. I already did this one. That would be why I have an extra. Okay. Do I have it twice? This was for that little glass tree light. So I don't know. Let me just check something. Sorry, guys. Tree topper. I just may have put it in the wrong spot. Yeah, I just didn't put it in the right spot. Okay. Okay, we got five items left. Next up, I have this super cute figurine. He is a little drummer boy. I will say he is missing one of his drum hand, drumsticks. His hand is not damaged, but the drumstick is missing. But he is still super cute. And he's got this great little mesh wings on the back. The face is in great condition. He is a Japan piece. And I like that he has little music notes on his robe. Can you see that? With the gold detailing. I just, it's a very nicely done piece. It is five inches tall. So for the little, little drummer boy, five inches tall, he is going to be $8 number seven. $8 number seven for the little drummer boy. And then to go with him, we have a little angel friend that may have been playing a piano or something. I'm sure you can find a spot for her in the little vignette. She has some crazing from age, but the face coloring is just really, really beautiful. Very nicely done. Almost like it's a little shelf sitter. Again, made in Japan, ceramic. Has a gloss glaze, not bisque. Fingers are intact. Four and a half inches tall. Has not been decapitated and reattached. Wings have not been decapitated or reattached. Really pretty condition. This little angel is $8, number eight. $8, number eight for the angel. Then switching back to fall real quick, I have this, I'm calling it like a carpet bag. It's kind of like a, um, it feels like a rug fabric, but it's in these beautiful colors. It's got like a vinyl bottom. And the interior is navy, and it's almost like the sides are a cardboard with the vinyl interior in navy. It's in nice condition, no smell. It's got these pretty brass handles that are like rubber. So I don't know if this is vintage or newer, but I thought this was really a cute little tote for the fall. Um, it is 13 and a half inches across and 11 inches tall. I wouldn't say like take a laptop in it, but you know, a wallet, your cell phone and like a little sweater or something would be fine. Just beautiful colors. This rug bag is going to be $10, number 17. $10, number 17 for the fall bag. This would even be cute for like a little knitting bag to put your yarn in and your knitting needles by your chair. That would be cute too. Okay. Two items left. Next is a contemporary piece. This guy is not vintage, but I thought he'd be really cute in like someone's little vignette or display for the holiday season. He is five inches tall by three inches across. He is ceramic and he does have a number on the bottom. It says two, three, four. I don't know. But this little guy is going to be $4, number 19. $4, number 19 for the Santa. And last but not least, it's not Christmas without a bunt pan. So I have this lovely red bunt pan with the white interior. I know people like to fill these with Christmas ornaments or greenery and make assemblages out of them. There's very minor wear. There's like um, one little silver paint loss right there, but this is actually in very nice condition. I don't have a maker. I don't know if it's Viking. Um, yeah, there's just a few. Okay. Like you can see the silver's coming through a little there, a little there, a little bit right there. It is 
10 inches in diameter. This bun pan is going to be $8 number 16. $8 number 16. And that's it guys. That is it for 2021. Thank you for spending the year with me. Thank you for buying from me and supporting my small business. I love treasure hunting. I love bringing you fun new things. And I love when I get to interact with you guys. So remember, if you've never bought from me, please email me your real name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. And if you bought from me before, you'll see an email within 48 hours. I will be combining from my Thursday drop sale with this one. And that's a wrap, guys. Have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Have a happy holiday season. If you celebrate Christmas, a Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. Whatever your beliefs take you, happy holiday season. And I will be back with you guys in 2022. See you then.